All right, well, good morning, Instagram. Right here, early here in the Philippines. Um, woke up to a long list of comments, a lot of angry bodybuilders out there, upset with what I had to say yesterday about me speaking about the revival of the bodybuilding industry. Well, let me clarify a few things. Maybe I was using the wrong word when I said bodybuilding was dying seven, eight, nine years ago. But the fact is, bodybuilding needed a revival. The numbers weren't there. It wasn't mainstream. We haven't been mainstream for a very long time. With the added divisions of men's physique, bikini, classic, this sport has become more socially acceptable to the masses, and now the sport is growing faster than ever, and there's no denying that. Never once did I say I single-handedly have rebuilt the bodybuilding industry, and that's not what I'm implying at all. The physique division as a whole, my battle with Sadiq Hadzovic a few years ago was one of the hottest things in the industry at the time. You know, the, the battles that are going on in the classic physique division, Regan dropping down from bodybuilding to classic, Bum said looking freaky, Brianna being a beast, a rush. These guys are all elite competitors, but are a little more mainstream and people are interested in seeing what's going on. You know, bodybuilding will always be the king. I've loved bodybuilding since day one. But the fact is, men's physique competitors, bikini competitors, and classic competitors, we are a part of the bodybuilding industry, whether you like it or not. And we are the ones that are helping to grow this sport. And if you guys are going to sit here and want to come at me saying I'm being arrogant or whatnot, that's not what this is about at all. I'm out here trying to spread the knowledge in international countries to show these athletes their potential, to show these athletes that the NPC and the IIB Pro League is a vessel, is a platform for them to have success. I, was, I didn't have anything before I started bodybuilding. The industry has given me everything, especially the fact that we're in an era of social media nowadays where I'm able to, to have an impact on millions and millions of people. Social media is the way of the bodybuilding world nowadays. Why do you think sponsors won't even look at you if you don't have a following. A lot of these bodybuilders haven't understood the fact that social media is going to make you in the industry nowadays. You have to have a following to be able to produce for these other companies. You guys can lift and train as hard as you want, and I respect the hell out of you. But at the end of the day, if you're doing this as a career, you have to figure out how to monetize it in some way. And social media... The mainstream divisions, like class and men's physique, they are on the rise. The mainstream audience wants to see those. The sponsors are going to them because it's more marketable. Not knocking the freaks, not knocking you guys. I, I, I adore the fact that you guys have put your bodies up to that. I think it's awesome. When I look at Phil, when I look at Rami, when I look at these guys, I'm like, holy shit, you guys are awesome. But that doesn't sit here and knock the fact that the men's physique division, the classic divisions, and the bikini divisions have had a major contributing factor to the success and growth of the sport over the last five years. And to say that, that the men's physique division is going to be irrelevant, the, the champion or the athletes will be irrelevant 10 to 20 years from now is ludicrous on every single level. We have millions of followers, millions and millions of fans that follow our division. They aren't going to disappear. The physique division is not going anywhere. You know, it's growing still. You know, why is women's bodybuilding gone? Why is there a women's classic physique now? Or women's, uh, women's physique? You know, why is class physique present? The sport's evolving. It's going away from that. Bodybuilding as a whole will always be king of the sport. But there has to be an evolution in our sport in order to continue growing. And these are facts. And if it wasn't true... Then you promoters or you the you pro bodybuilders have shows. Remove classic, remove physique, and remove bikini from your from your shows, and see how well the turnout is. Last thing, I meant no disrespect to anyone. I love the IIBB Pro League. I love the MPC. I love bodybuilding. It's given me a life that I never knew was possible. And the fact is. I'm not here to knock anybody. I'm not here to hate on anybody. I respect the grind and hustle of all you athletes because we do the same shit. We eat the same food. We train the same way. We do the same cardio. You know? We're athletes. We're bodybuilders. I'm talking about bodybuilding industry as a whole was going downhill. And now look at it. 
internationally. Expos are filling up. And if you go to the Expos, who are the ones with the fans in the lines? It's the influencers. That's who it is. So this is, from, this is strictly from a business standpoint, understanding the growth and evolution of our sport, our industry. And for the bodybuilders at the Expos that have the big lines, those are the bodybuilders that have been able to capitalize on social media. Those are the bodybuilders that have understood the evolution of the sport. Those are the guys. The guys that have taken the time and done the due diligence of understanding the evolution. That their popularity is going to grow through the social media. That their, their contracts will get bigger through social media. It's Stop being so narrow-minded and stop, stop, taking, uh, 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 stop being defensive over what I'm saying and recognize, you know, there's a lot of opportunities out there and we are blessed to be in an era that we have social media to do these things for us. In no way, shape, or form, I'm knocking the bodybuilders. If anything, I'm trying to enlighten you guys and show you there's more potential out there for you guys to do bigger and greater things. So I apologize, I've hurt some feelings. I'm not trying to do that. I love this sport through and through.